All right, folks, Tommy Cowett here on the lawn with you with Growing Green, Outer Space Landscape. And today, we'll be pruning a crepe myrtle. We don't want to commit the crepe murder in hacking these back too far. As you see what happens, the typical scenario of crepe murder is when you hack one back like this. And as you can see, you get a lot of the stubs. We'll be doing something similar to that, but we'll be taking this back selectively. You know, we're gonna cut into some big wood, but we wanna go back to nodes. We wanna clean this thing up. It's a beautiful Natchez, or white crepe myrtle. As you see that beautiful, you know, rusty colored bark on that. So this is something we're going to get started with, and I'm going to be taking probably six, six feet off of most of the branching here, removing anything that's touching. You'll see how this canopy gets cleaned out quite a bit. We're also going to be doing a little makeover back here. As you can see, a lot of this is overgrown around the deck, the Indian hawthorns, uh, this, this uh, liriope, which we love because it's easy to propagate. We'll be removing some of that, making this little bed a little bit bigger, and there's some other pruning on the other side of the house. But hey, let's get started. It's a beautiful day here in December. Christmas was a couple days ago. It's the 27th, and uh, we're ready to get started. Back to work. All right. All right, folks, and we're back here, kind of near the end of the day here. We're going to start cleaning this up, but I want to show you how we did this crepe myrtle without creating too much crepe murder. I mean, I could have taken it back, you know, almost to where you got six inch material, a lot of people do. Just wanna see what the canopy's like now. There's definitely a globular shape to this, but I took a lot of the tip growth. This is gonna really open it up. You see that little black dragon cryptomeria over there is not getting any light. Basically, just working away, working around it. To get you up under here and look at the structure of this great myrtle. She's a good 25 feet tall, not too tall. But what we use is pole pruner. We're kind of like the fishing. And then I like to just get up in there on that ladder. And you can hold on to a great myrtle pretty good. And just cut away, because you're really going to have an awesome nice clean cut for the most part that's going to heal up real well and then you know force out some new growth and with the crepe myrtles now i've got a lot of debris to work so we'll start loading that up in the truck but just want to share that with you folks that's what this looks like the crepe myrtle without creating or uh committing crepe murder.